you know, Woody was great. Woody he was just, you know, he was a coach that understood. You know, he gave us the freedom, but at the same time, like he he let us know he was in charge. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it got times we have battles, at times we have our disagreements, you know, as players and as coaches, but at the end of the day, we respected him. And I think a lot of that is missing in the game nowadays that, you know, sometimes these young guys don't respect their coaches. Mm -hmm. And that's, 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 that's not a good thing, man. You know, you got these old school coaches who are starting to leave the game and retiring or, you know, going into the front office and, you know, the young coaches are coming in and it's like, it's like, you know, like I, I miss those days when a coach would get on you and you would take it. You know, I've seen Greg Popovich, I mean, get on Tim Duncan like, like he was yeah. a, like he was nobody, you know what I'm saying? This is Tim Duncan, you know what I'm saying? I've seen that with my own eyes and that's how it should be. And every player should take it and know that it's coming from a good place. It ain't coming from, I'm trying to disrespect you. I'm trying to embarrass you. It's coming on, I'm trying to get the best out of you. And that's how I always took it. You know, I think that's something that's that's starting to leave the game now, man. It's, 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 it's missed for real. Mm. Coach Woody, he's just an old school coach who, gonna, who, who know how to change with the times. That's what I love about Coach Wood. He's interesting. He still knows how to change with time with the young guys. And, you know, sometimes that's what you need. That's important. Relatability is important, especially with these young guys right now. That's, you're absolutely right about that. True, true story. Well, I think, well, first off, I enjoyed uh, playing for him. I really did. He was, you know, that's the first time I ever came off the bench. And he was like, I want you to lead the league and scoring off the bench. And he really hammered home the importance of a six man to me. Uh, and then I played for him again in LA. He was the assistant coach and he was unbelievable. And I think for the Knicks, that was the last time they made the playoffs, if I'm not mistaken. He was at the helm, or, you know, it was the last time they were Right, and team, yep. I just think bringing him back, getting a chance to really uh, finish what he started, you know, I think that would be incredible. You know, and, and he's just, I know Wood, he played the game, he played at this level. I know what makes him tick. I know how much players respect him and love playing for him. Um, and he knows how to, he knows how to coach, you know, and, and hold everybody accountable. He's going to be a straight shooter, but he also knows how to understand, you know, and, and I just love playing for him. I thought he would be, it would be great for him to get a chance to finish what he started there. Because he's been yeah. a, a real relationship forward coach, uh, being able to build relationships with stars. You, you always need sort of like somebody in the law might say, uh, you know, there's the velvet glove with the iron fist and the velvet glove. I mean, you got to be heavy handed at times, but you also need the smooth approach. And I think having the right staff to help him out there is going to be important. To, um, I like Woody personally. You know, that was my first time being around him. I seen him on the bench like other places and all that, but that was my first time being around him and able to talk basketball with him. And he allowed us to be men first and foremost. He mm. held us accountable. He didn't, from mellow to down, from mellow to Chris Copeland. Everybody was held accountable, which I love. You know, not every coach can do that. Not every coach can de demand that respect. I mean, Woody did that. Um, he was my guy, man, was able to get to know him off the floor as well. So he's a solid dude, man. And he honestly, uh, and to just think the way we played, man, we got threes up. So we wasn't just yeah. half court, throw the ball That's to Melo and get out of the way. That's true. No, we had guys that was stroking that thing. Yeah. True story. Yeah. Novak, Copeland, you know, JR. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Check. JR, Melo, then JK, JK first still, half, JK. JK knocked down. Mm -hmm. So Pablo Prigioni probably percentage was better than everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cope was letting him go too. Yeah, yeah. Cope, so Cope was letting him like, fly. We, like, so Woody's style of play with the new style of the way they playing now, I think it fits. Yeah. Uh, I think he can okay. bring that defensive focus to the game, which it needs to be. And as well, letting these guys wide open, let them do what they need to do. And they're shooting 30 plus threes a night.